I love sharing what I cook with people. Uh, I enjoy the kind of, you know, when you cook something really delicious and somebody really, really enjoys it. I love that kind of feedback. I always think it's a bit like a musician. You give something, people enjoy it, and they, you know, you, you get that response back, and that, that response is really enjoyable. Okay, so this is our signature lamb dish in the restaurant. It's rump of lamb with carrot puree and um, spring, sauteed spring vegetables. A bit like that. Um, we use smoky flavor when it fries. Okay, season both sides. Okay, not too much oil, because there is enough fat. And then we put it skin side down, and all the, all the lemon oil comes out of the lemon itself and starts to marinate around the lamb uh, and keeps it nice and tender, plenty of flavor, and just cuts through the, the fat because lamb can be a little bit fatty. So sometimes it's good just to cut down some of that fat and to keep it nice and clean and fresh. Okay. Nice and sweet, a little bit of olive oil is starting to sweeten up. Okay, so you render it down. Soft like that and caramelized. Turn it over. Give it a little squeeze over the top like that. You can feel that lovely lemon juice coming out. Yeah. Okay. So once we've got the color on the pan, on, on the lamp, take the whole pan, put the whole pan into the oven like that. 180, 190 and it will take about 10 minutes to cook through nicely. I started out um, when I was a teenager, working front of house um, as a waiter, and then decided that cooking was much more interesting. And uh, a few years ago, I set up my own company. Okay, so into a pan. We've just boiled with a little bit of uh, vegetable stock, some salt and some flavors, and, uh, and then we just puree it until it's nice and smooth. Most things at this time of year. Spring onions just to give it a little bit of crunch. So if we prepare our vegetables, we're going to keep these whole and just char grill them a little bit. And we can use the fennel fronds as garnish for later. And the fennel as well. Much olive oil, we don't want them to fry. We just want them to grill nicely. So onto our hot griddle. Okay. The idea is that we keep the asparagus nice and crunchy, crisp. Uh, and the fennel will just char up. It's quite a hardy vegetable. So it can take a bit of punishment. Want to bring it out? So it needs a few more minutes. You can always test the, how far it's got. Still very pink. Back in the oven for a bit longer. It's quite rock and roll. It's quite cool to be a you know chef, uh, and um, yeah, it can take you places. It can give you opportunities to do things and travel and and you know meet some really interesting clients and customers. Bad thing, terrible hours. We work long, hard hours uh, to produce things that people don't sometimes always appreciate. And so in the meantime, we've also already created our red wine sauce that goes with our lamb. Uh, we re reduced down red wine, meat bones, a few other flavors. I think rump is a great cut, much underused, and plenty of flavor because of course it's worked hard as a muscle. Uh, so all the flavor is there and if you treat it nicely cook it cook it well nice and pink let the juices let it rest with all the juices then uh, it's an exquisite piece of meat the baby fennel and the great thing about the griddle and doing vegetables on the griddle is that it creates a little bit of a smoky flavor to it so you kind of get that charry smoky sweet flavor and uh, that marries well with the lamb okay so the sauce is thickening up now as it's as it's heating up. Time to check on our lamb. It all goes towards flavouring that lovely, lovely piece of lamb. Take on all those flavours. Okay. We just cut it on the angle. Keeps it nice and interesting. Beautifully pink. A little bit of the uh, lovely carrot puree in some of these spring vegetables. Give it some texture. Lovely lamb, nice and cooked. A few more of these textures, all these lovely spring vegetables. Okay, some spring onion. 
some of the wild garlic, a little bit of the fennel, char grilled. Okay. And finally, rich sauce. And taste just to finish garnishing like that. It's in. It's just to give it a little bit of extra greenery. So that's our signature lamb dish. Char-grilled rump of lamb, or pan-roasted rump of lamb with carrot puree, our char-grilled spring vegetables, and our red wine reduction.